You probably heard and said it more times than you can remember. Dude is one of the most flexible words in the English language. It can apply to the best of friends and to the bitterest of enemies. But where did a word that spans generations of modern history even come from? What is the history of dude? Dude first appeared in the late 1800s and its source might come as a surprise, the song Yankee Doodle. The complete original saying was Yankee Doodle Dandy, which you do hear in the song's chorus. Yankee Doodle keep it up, Yankee Doodle Dandy. The term arose in the 1700s as part of the lead up to the Revolutionary War, and boy, is it a buffet of insults. Yankee was used by Dutch colonists to insult their English counterparts. Doodle might have come from doodle, the German word for fool and slang for male genitalia. Finally, dandy referred to the ridiculously well-dressed upper-class English people of the time. As a whole, Yankee Doodle Dandy referred to those who copied the styles and behaviors of the English and aspired to become wealthy so they could move up in society. British soldiers hurled this at the colonists as an insult, imagining them as low class and weak, but it didn't work. Colonists embraced the term and used it for themselves, including proudly singing that titular song. The phrase never went away, but using all three words fell out of favor. In 1880s New York, People used dude and its alternative spelling to refer to the high fashion of the time. A decade later, it referred to elites who lived in cities. This led to another popular appearance of dude you might know. Ranchers, people who raised livestock like cattle, opened tourism businesses that catered to those vacationing elite and showed them the western lifestyle. What do you call a place like that? A dude ranch, of course. It's not until the latter half of the 20th century that dude begins taking on the meaning we know today. No one is quite sure why the word took off with the African-American community in the mid-1960s, but it did. And like a lot of AAVE words, it was adopted by white communities, particularly the surfers of California. In the 1970s, it became associated with slacker and stoner culture as well. There have been a few attempts at feminine versions of the word, but they haven't had any staying power. In fact, the dude can be applied to anyone may have allowed it to flourish when other synonyms fell by the wayside. It also helps that being called dude can make you feel what researchers call cool solidarity. There's no way of telling what will happen to dude in the future, but no matter what, we know it'll keep evolving. You'll never be able to guess what we call dude next.